Okay, hey, hey Chris, how are you doing? I'm going to illustrate my diamonds for you in this uh, video. Um, I'm having some issues with my frames being dropped, so we'll see how that goes. First of all, let's show you what Gnome V looks like. Running this in debug mode, so you can get an idea of what happens with this. Now, you can already see this red text says that it's got an issue with the image removal track. This is something that I haven't been able to get around in my GNOME view. Basically what it's saying is that it's not authorized. Uh, so I have to reauthorize it every time. I'll show you how to do that. So I go into preferences and uh, plugins and every time I load GNOME V, not just every time I start the next session, but every time I lo load GNOME V, I have to authorize it. It'll open a window, and it doesn't matter that Mr. V got the full, uh, it was doing the same thing in Firefox. Anyway, um, here we are, unauthorized, and I have to complete the authorization, and now can see here it's using an API key. So you'll read about that when you do some research. And then that's that. Now we've set up. Now what I'd like to show is um, is what I like about GNOME V when it works. And I'll show that now. Okay, so I've recorded the first session or the first bit of this video and it seemed to be fine. I'm getting messages here, okay, drop zero, drop zero, so maybe the frames are, are okay, but I recorded a, a video before uh, that went for a few minutes and it only got something like, uh, I don't know, it, it only got about a minute of it and then it just uh, stopped. So something happened, it was not happy and, and then it didn't work. But it seems to be working now and I'll let you know how that goes. All right, let's move this to the other session other area and now okay so let's say I'm in gnome do and I want to add a task in remember the milk when you start typing in one of these application launches it'll for the first few characters it'll associate the the input with uh, something that it's got in its in its library but at a certain point it starts reading it as raw text uh, it doesn't really know what to do with it so it might open a URL or whatever is there, but at this point you can see it doesn't. It really doesn't know what to do with the text anymore, so it defaults to the Remember the Milk plugin, which is exactly what I want because now I can say create a new task in Remember the Milk, and I can use the Smart Add syntax. So I can give it high priority. Um, I can give it a date. Um, I can add it to the jobs list, I can tag it with a tag, enter, away it goes, and then if I want to uh, see it, you'll see that it's been uploaded, it's pretty much been uploaded, so if I just search for it by tag, there we go, create a new task in Remember the Milk. Now, if we can get that in Kupfer, that would be awesome, because that's exactly what I want. I don't really care so much about downloading the late the, the up-to-date list from the server. It's not really important to me because I keep this window open most of the time anyway, so this confirms the the input. Uh, so again, I don't need a plugin that's going to fetch all my lists and keep them up to date and so on. I think that's what's causing GNOME due to crash and that's the problem behind the plugin. All I want is basically a command line option of of adding tasks to remember the milk so I don't actually have to go into it I can just do it with a keyboard shortcut like add something stupid to remember the milk and away I go let's uh, refresh that there you go that's how fast it is. And that if we can get that in Kappa, that would be fantastic. Um, by the way, check the Google spreadsheet. I've I've added a little bit to the, the script that you wrote for me, just to make it a little bit 
a little bit nicer and also to date stamp the file uh, that's, that's created. So I hope this video has helped you to understand my requirements and please let me know if there's anything else uh, that you want to discuss. See ya!